Previously on The Bill. We're working on the basis that this is a family job bankrolled by Curtis Jensen. Jane Hopkins was the decoy at the shop. I don't believe Jane Hopkins had anything to do with that robbery. Armed robbers love their kids too. Now. There was one. She was supposed to be on her own. I think I don't know that. Yeah? Then who's she? What was she doing there? I'm gonna take the gags off, yeah? I want everything nice and quiet. Agreed? My name's Millie. I'm a friend. I was just visiting. Well, if you promise to be quiet, we promise to be good. All right? <laughs> You'll be okay. Just try not to annoy him, yeah? Neighbour said she was working by the sound of the car screeching down the alley. She took a quick look and noticed that the side gate and the kitchen door were open. This is Jade Hopkins' place. Did we interview her yesterday? Yeah. She was at the shop during the armed robbery. But the one we thought was being used as a decoy? Yeah. yeah, we've got her brother Ronnie in custody. Police, hello? Police! Is... The baby. Jade's got a little boy. Baby's in here, Sal. Hello, mate. How are you? How are you? Where's mummy gone to then, eh? Oh, well, he seems okay. Better get a doctor to check him out. There's no one else here. Well, Jade's a decent mum. She would never leave a baby on his own. Sierra, I Rise and shine. <clears throat> oh, it's you. What were you expecting? Room service? Inspector Weston wants to have a word. She will ask her to come back at a decent hour. You could do, but I think you'll want to hear this. Your sister's gone missing. Officers turned up at her empty house to find her son alone upstairs. She left Lewis on his own. There's no way she'd do that. And what about her husband, Jeff? She likely to be with him? They're separated. They can hardly stand to be in the same room. OK, what about her mates? She ain't really got any mates. She lost touch with them when she got married. But, like I said, she'd never go out and leave her kid. Well... I'm sure she'll turn up soon enough. No, listen. You don't know her like I do. If she left Lewis on his own, then there's something wrong. Very wrong. <laughs> I'm guessing you're in too comfy there. So I'm going to take the gags off, yeah? Can I trust you not to do anything stupid? Better and more civilised, isn't it? So what the hell do we do now, right? Do we stay here? Do we dump this one? We're told to stay here and wait. So that's what we'll do, yeah? Bro, we get the same amount of cash regardless of how many birds we got here. Let's just sit, watch a bit of telly and chill, yeah? You should tell him you're a copper. We'd be out of here in no time. No way. in more danger, OK? They panic. God knows what would happen. Just look, you heard them. They're waiting for a phone call, OK? It'll be a straight cash exchange. We just need to be patient. Cash? For me? Look, is this about the photos about Ronnie's debt to that Curtis bloke? You want me to shut you two up? Millie, not with you, sir. Sorry, Mum, I haven't seen her. It's not like her to be late. Ben? Right. 
Apologies to CID for dragging you out of your bed so early, but at four o'clock this morning, Uniform were called to Jade Hopkins' house. When they arrived, the only person they found was Lewis Hopkins, Jade's nine-month-old little boy. We've no idea where she is or why she's gone. Well, I spoke to Ronnie Lane earlier and he said there's no way she would have left him. Yeah, but that could just be a story they put out. Look what a good mother she is, never leave a kid. Perfect cover for a woman prepared to use her child as a decoy while her brother gets away with 70 grand. Well, you think she disappeared because she thought we were onto her? I think it's a possibility. But I'll tell you what I think is more likely, is that she was taken to make sure the big brother keeps his mouth shut. What about? Curtis Jensen bankrolling the robbery. Bill Palmer, the man we arrested yesterday with over 20 grand in cash in him, is Curtis Jensen's right-hand man. Now, he's keeping quiet about his boss's involvement, willing to take the rap himself rather than land Jensen in it. I think Jade's been taken to make sure that Ronnie Lane does the same. Keep his trap shut. Well, that would certainly explain why these surveillance shots were sent to Ronnie. Yeah, we know where your sister is, so Playboy and did a robbery. OK, so uh, where are we at? Uh, Eddie's on his way to the house with forensics. Roger found Jade's phone and wallet. There's no leads there, and I've called all the local hospitals. No one matching Jade's description has been admitted so far. Has anyone tried to contact Lane at all? Well, there's been no calls to his mobile. Well, no matter how good a mum Jade Hopkins is, it's possible that she's just gone off the rails for a night, had too many shandies or something, so I think for the time being, we keep an open mind, OK? Any luck, Eddie? Look, I can tell you there were two men here. How do you know they were men? How many women do you know with size 12 feet? Well, I know some big girls. Yeah? But you can introduce them to me. Well, as you can see, there was a struggle over here by the door. Now, I can identify the men's shoes from their sole prints here. But there are two other sets of prints here. Women. You sure? Could be the same woman. Different shoes, different days. I'll have to do more checks. Any luck? None with the CCTV, ma'am. I mean, there's plenty of cars and vans leaving the area, but none with index and Shannon was stolen. Nothing suspicious in the way they're being driven? Nothing. Any news on our absent friend? I tried Millie's mobile, but it went straight through to voicemail, so I called her place. Her flatmate said she hasn't been home all night. Nah, it's pretty out of character, ma'am, but we're thinking Millie might have got lucky. Or unlucky, as the case may be. She's still got to explain to me why she's late. Very late. Might just try again, Mum. I'll do it. Thank you. How's it going? Hello? Yes, I'm trying to contact PC Millie Brown. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, would you? No. Well, when you see her, could you tell her this is her boss, please, Inspector Weston? This is Millie's phone. Inspector Weston, this is Eddie. Eddie? Where are you? Jade Hopkins' house. OK, listen up. Millie's phone's been found at Jade's place and a car has been found parked close by. If Jade has been taken, it's likely Millie's been taken too. What was Millie doing there? She was worried about Jade. She did tell you, Sarge, and she was right. Looks like Jade needed the protection Millie asked you for after all. Millie was getting too involved. I knew it would affect her professional judgment, and look, I was right. She shouldn't have been there, Roger. She knew Jade was in danger and wanted to reassure her. Some coppers are like that. She was doing her job. OK, have you both finished? Look, bottom line, how's she going to cope? She's got a level head on her, but she's not the sort of girl to think outside the box, if you know what I mean. Right. So we work on the assumption that Curtis Jensen is behind all this and he bankrolled the arm robbery that took place at the toy store yesterday, yeah? Yeah. Word for a while has been that along with drug dealing, which he hides through legit business and money lending, he's the villain's banker. He funds jobs for a sizable cut. He knows when he's in custody and it's all to make sure that he keeps his mouth shut. If we go in heavy and search Jensen's premises, we've got one chance to get it right. And we can't guarantee that the place we hit is where Millie and Jade are. Well, I don't think he's going to hold him at any of his properties. He's cleverer than that. In that case, we'll obo him, at least until we know what we're dealing with. Ben, Sally, you know the drill. Keep an eye on how Jensen's behaving, his body language, where he's going, who he's meeting. Gov, I'd like to talk to Ronnie again, if that's OK. Yeah, OK. You're still SIO. Keep me posted. Can you two go over everything we've got in the armed robbery? See if there's anything we've missed, anyone we haven't talked to. If Jensen is behind this, there's some sort of connection we haven't proved yet. No problem. 
What's happening with Jade's son? His father's coming in to collect him. We'll get her back, Roger. We'd better, Sarge. One of our officers is missing. We think that she was checking up on your sister last night and has become embroiled in whatever mess you got her into. Hold on. We don't know this has got anything to do with me. Oh, come off it, Ronnie. Yesterday you told us that Jade was as straight as a die, that she doesn't move in the circles you do, that she's got nothing to do with the armed robbery. You planted the gun in her son's cot as the perfect hiding place for it. You involved her. Now, I've got a theory. I think whoever it was that organised this robbery, and I think it's Curtis Jensen, has taken your sister to make sure you keep quiet. You see, that's the only reason I can think of why anyone would want to send you these. They say, I know everything about your sister. That I could pick her up any time I wanted and there's nothing you could do to stop me. There's a reason these were sent, isn't there, Ronnie? I think it's about time you told me. I was late with a payment. It should have been 200. I was one day late. They put interest on top. Suddenly it was four. I said I couldn't pay. And what happened? I expected another beating. But they just walked off. Not a word. A few hours later, these came through my door. They must have been following her for days, weeks. Why didn't you tell us? Sure. Some hard nuts insisting that I pay off my ex-wife's drug debts. I can't. He's threatening my sister, I tell you. We could have helped. You've, you've got no idea what this man is, have you? Do you really think I'd commit armed robbery on a toy shop unless I was desperate? We know all there is to know about Jensen. The drug racket, the extortion. And, and the fact that he could do me and Jade some serious damage. You think he's scared of you? Believe me, he's not. He's too smart, too well organised. He's got my sister. My only option is to get the money to him somehow. Should have run by now. I see. I know, I heard you. Calm down, eh? Well, if they don't call, eh? What do we do with him? You don't have to worry about us. It won't be any trouble. When I want your opinion! You're doing yourself no good here, bro. I've got to go. I've got to get something to sort me out. It can wait. I need it now. We wait for the call. That was a deal. I need you here, OK? This is burning a hole. We can wipe that slate clean. We'll start again. Oi. What? You ain't taking it with you. Sorry, what was your name? Didn't tell you it. Is there any chance we can get a swig of water? We're both really thirsty. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I ain't an animal, you know. Yeah, we know. I ain't got no truck with you. It's just business, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We appreciate that. The hospital confirmed that Lewis is absolutely fine. Thanks. Jeff, how you doing? Any news? Nothing yet. We're working on a theory that Curtis Jensen could be behind the disappearance. Jensen? You know him? Yeah, our paths have crossed. We found some photos of Jade and the baby. Someone had been following her. She'd been targeted. What? What for? Why? Well, we think it might have something to do with Ronnie's involvement in the armed robbery, but we don't know for certain. We're working on it. When did you find these photos? Yesterday. So you're telling me you knew she was being targeted yesterday? And you left her without any kind of backup. We thought that she was part of the crew that carried out the armed robbery, and because of that, not in any immediate danger. Jade? Part of a crew? You don't even know her. You don't have any idea who she is. And if anything's happened to her, 
I'm holding you personally responsible, do you hear me? Nice place. I like gastro groups. Hope's a pub in it. Apparently, Jensen owns this place with a string of tanning salons, bars, and clubs. If he's hurt Millie, I'll personally fry him on his sunbed. Do you think Millie will get through this? Honestly, I don't know. But she's got her head screwed on. I just hope that's enough. Just depends how much Jensen wants to prove his point, doesn't it? I mean, cross me, and this is what will happen. Max could have done something. You know, he could have stopped this. Yeah, it's easy to say that now, isn't it? We could say she shouldn't have been there in the first place. But we will slap her legs for that when we get her back. So what do we do now, then? Do we uh, wait here, or do we go inside? Can you see through walls? I'll slap your legs up a bit, go on. So you two are brothers, right? Who's the oldest? Guess. You. He's the one who gets looked after. I've got a younger sister. Science, I bet. Always wanted an older brother, to be honest. Someone to beat up the mean kids at school. Yeah, well, don't always work like that. How did you get into all this? Money. What else makes people do anything? You both addicts? I'm not judging. Okay, it's not my business. I just wondered why he'd be so desperate to do something this risky. It ain't risky. As long as everything stays simple. What's the matter? Look, is there any chance I can stand up for a minute just to stretch? Okay. Just you. You stay there. He shoots and he scores! What do you think you're doing? Are you stupid? You need a stretch. Yeah, well, tough. This ain't no school trip. Tie her up. Get myself up. Shut up and sit down. We'll tie her up. I'm going to cook this up. Right. Cross-reference the staff names from the toy shop and the NPS database. Nothing's coming up. Same. All known associates of Ronnie Lane, dead ends. No links to Jensen. Lawrence Till. What, the shop manager? Yeah, you interviewed him. What's his story? A bit of a loser, really. Shooting his mouth off in the pub about how much money the shop was taking. Ronnie overheard him. He ended up getting shot in the shoulder. Why was he putting up a fight? Well, according to Ronnie, Lawrence got shot when he fought back by accident. He doesn't seem like the have-a-go hero type. I mean, why would he fight back when Ronnie Lane's got a gun to his head? It's not like it's his business or anything. Maybe he thought Ronnie wasn't going to hurt him. Because he was in on it with them. There you go, Lawrence Till. Investigated two years ago by Essex Police after an armed robber went into the shop he was manager of. They couldn't prove his involvement. Let's go and see what Mr Till has to say for himself. Feeling better, Mr Till? No sleep, nightmares. Must play on your mind. Not me, him. So they say lightning doesn't strike twice, eh, Lawrence? Bit of a coincidence. You were manager at a barn supermarket in Essex when it was robbed two years ago. That was nothing to do with me. What, you think he'd volunteer to take a bullet in this one? Remember your mate Ronnie Lane from the pub? We've got him in custody. He's admitted to the armed robbery. What, you arrested him? We heard that you more or less let those robbers in during the robbery in Essex. They threatened me. It worked for you once, thought you might try it again. What? No, I was terrified. Come on, Lawrence, we've seen the CCTV footage from the shop. You can't honestly think we're going to believe you take on an armed man. You knew you were in no immediate danger. He was shot. The doctor says it's no more than a flesh wound. Grey shoulder. I want to see my lawyer. I think we can arrange that, because you're nicked. What? Last night's a stress. My phone calls. It seemed very tense. 
Well, he's been in business a long time, hasn't he? The kind of things he gets up to is second nature by now. But it's amazing to me that somebody like that... Jensen! Where is she? I found this round at Ronnie's place. My wife in exchange for the money. My wife! Don't know what you're talking what about. You're telling me you've got nothing to do with my wife going missing, Jensen. I'm telling you to get your facts straight before you go around throwing accusations about it. Get it, man. If you've so much as touched her, I'll kill you! Why not treat like that, young Nick? Do you understand me? PC Armstrong, son, here. Lucky for us, you were here. I know he's down to you! I know you're behind me! You need to calm down. I don't know what he's talking about. You're next. I'm going to need you to come down to the station and make a statement, Mr. Jensen. Look, I'm prepared to forget about the whole thing. Just make some pretty serious allegations against you. All right. Anything I can do to cooperate? Jeff Hopkins broke into Ronnie's house trying to find something useful. Obviously, they'll trust us to sort things. He fell nap on the doormat. 70,000 gets Jay free. We need to get this checked by forensics. Hopkins is convinced that Jensen's responsible for his wife's disappearance. Jensen would never send a note to a man he knows would never see it. He knows that Ronnie's in custody, right? So I don't think it's going to kill us to have a quick word with him, confront him with a few of our theories. We've brought Lawrence still in for questioning, Gov. Yeah, he clammed up in the hospital, demanded a lawyer, but pretty much confessed all to the robbery on the way here. Can we link him to Jensen? Well, he claims to have never heard of him. You still think Jensen's behind all this, eh? I think he knows more than he's cracking on. Will. Thanks for agreeing to see us, Mr. Jensen. My pleasure. We're investigating an armed robbery which took place yesterday, involving a Mr. Ronnie Lane. But of course, you already know Mr. Lane, don't you? Uh, we're acquainted. His sister's been kidnapped. Yeah, so Jeff said. Shocking. We're working on the theory that you know something about it. Based on? Based on the fact that Ronnie carried out the robbery to pay a debt to you. Based on the fact that we confiscated the stolen money, which means he's still in debt to you. And the fact that someone... Someone has been following Lane's sister. Now, I know you don't have a very high opinion of me, Sergeant. True. But I'd never get involved in anything that could possibly harm a child. That a fact? I think you kidnapped Jade to make sure Ronnie Lane keeps Stumm. I've got nothing whatsoever to do with the disappearance of Lane's sister. To be honest, I find the idea of kidnap desperate, cheap. Lane owed you big time. Hey, what do you respect, Sergeant? 20 grand's hardly big time. This morning I ordered over 15 grand's worth of wine. Your reputation's worth far more than 20 grand, though. This isn't about money. It's about position. You don't like being disrespected. And you'll do anything to make sure that you're not. You've got anything on me? Hmm? Apart from a misguided opinion. I thought not. Well, as you're not going to charge me with anything, gentlemen, I'll be on my way. I'm just saying, Ronnie, you might best, won't you? Tell him I'll be praying for his sister. Progress, okay? Just that will be over soon. Yeah, yeah, it's me. What? What's it? Say that again. What is it? What's wrong? What? Well, what do we do with? What? What is it? The feds have got all the money! It's all over! All this! All this is for nothing! We ain't gonna get a bean! The deal's off. What do we do with him? We get rid of them! They're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us! Just calm oh, down, okay? No. I really need you to just hold it together right now, okay? Oh, my baby! I just want to see Lou. Jade, listen to me, okay? Listen. You carry on. Well, what, what you I might not get out of this. Do you understand me, Jade? You can't see this. Just get us out of here. No, I need you to do exactly what I ask, okay? What did you say? said it was our problem. Then we let them go. 
They can ID us. We'll get out of the country. They can ID us. Nick, sorry. Just hear me out, okay? If you let us go, I promise you, we'll keep our mouths shut. We don't want you to get in any trouble. We just want to walk away from this. And who asked you? Well, if you let us go, you've got two less problems to deal with. I don't know our full names. We brought them in the back of a van in the dark. I don't know where we live. We let them go. Ain't there an argument? You know, this isn't your fault. Okay, you've been let down, but no harm's been done. Yeah, you, you drop us off. You can forget this ever happened. Yeah, we can go back to our lives, see our families. Jay can get to see her baby son again. Just, just think about it, please. I'll check Jensen's alibi for the time when Millie and Jade went missing. Solid. But that just means he wasn't there, not that he wasn't involved. I know Jensen's behind those surveillance photographs, and he's ruthless enough to do it. He doesn't quite add up yet, but he's our prime suspect. Millie and Jade are still at risk. We search his premises. You're in luck, ladies. After consulting my brother, Rick, I've decided that we should release you back into the wild, back to your natural habitat. <laughs> Drop you off or we'll pick you up. What, back home? By the time someone finds you, we'll be well away. And we can all live happily ever after. Mick, Mick Coppers. Yeah, I can see him. I need a PNC check on a partial index kilo 542 Echo. White Ford van heading south towards Swallow Road. What now? I said no! I heard you! I don't know! I don't know. I've got something. The van's part of a fleet leased on a contract to THB Retail. Get this, they're a parent company are touring around. That's where the armed robbery took place yesterday. The common denominator here is Lawrence Till. Don't make sense of the ransom, which has been bugging me. So he's a minor player, but he thinks he's being cut out. He doesn't know Ronnie's been arrested, and he thinks he's done a runner with the money. He takes Jade until Ronnie pays. I'm on a TIU check. I have to say, I never figured him for the time. He's paid someone off to do this, but who? Well, we did a check on all known associates. No one came up. None of any form, anyway. Lawrence and his wife didn't move from the hospital until we took them down to the station. Eddie's been back in touch with the fingerprint results from the ransom note. Lawrence still? No, none at all. Clean as a whistle. There's definitely a link between him and the kidnappers. Let's go and see what he's got to say for himself. When are you going to let my husband go? Well, considering he's just confessed to cooperating in an armed robbery, not for the foreseeable future, Mrs Till. We also have reason to believe he's involved in another matter. And if we prove that to be the case, you won't be seen him for a very long time. You'll excuse us. You've already admitted that you were the inside man on the robbery. Yes. Working with Ronnie Lane, the man who held the shop up at gunpoint and stole £70,000. That's right. But you didn't get your cut, did you, Lawrence? Must have been a bit miffed. All that bother for nothing. The organisation, the hole in the shoulder, all that investment and for what? Big fat zero. You're sick of getting messed around. Sick of getting sand kicked in your face, so you decide to come up with a plan to get your own back. You're gonna kidnap Ronnie's sister. What? You organise a ransom note saying in no uncertain terms what it is you want. The cash you wrote in exchange for Jade Hopkins. No, no, no. Don't mess me around, Lawrence. I'm not in the mood. Your boys go out to pick up Jade, but there's someone else there. Someone you weren't expecting. A real spanner in the works. A colleague of mine, in fact. PC Millie Brown. Oh, you could not believe me. I, I am no kidnapper. You're part of the crew that can pull off an armed robbery. Why should I believe you? That was a one-off. I was desperate. But it wasn't a one-off, was it, Lawrence? What about the job in Essex? I was never charged with anything for that because I was innocent. Didn't matter, though. I still lost my job because of it. When I got talking to Ronnie in the pub, I thought, why not get something out of it this time? I was fed up with Liv treating me like a loser. What are you saying? You were hempecked? Well, I'm sorry, Lawrence, but that ain't gonna stand up on a charge of kidnap. How many more times? I never kidnapped anyone, I swear to God. Where is she? I don't know. If anything happens to her, I will make it my personal business to make sure that you go down and you never come back out. I did not order a kidnap. I wouldn't know how to. Right, we've just completed the Section 17 searches on Jensen's premises and there's nothing, but the CCTV from the pub shows a number of people who put in an appearance at least once a day and they're not customers, so they never stay for a drink. They're only ever there for a few minutes. Brittany's dealing. 
Yeah, we're almost certain of it, but it may be very difficult to prove. So we've hit a brick wall, and we've got nothing to tie Jensen to the kidnap. And Lawrence Teal's insisting that he's got nothing to do with it. I can't get my head around any of this. The van the girls were taking in is directly linked to the firm that Lawrence Teal works for, and yet we still can't prove a link between him and the kidnap. Excuse me, but I think you should see this. It's a blow-up of the CCTV of the van driving past Jade's house. Thanks, Richard. Wait a minute, I saw this guy on the CCTV footage outside Jensen's pub. One of Jensen's non-drinking customers? Yeah. Something, but it's not enough to get Jensen talking. You'll know that it will never stand up in court on its own. We need to apply some pressure on him somehow. How about we let him know that one of the kidnapped victims is a copper? That's a bit risky. It is risky, but the longer Millie's out there, the more dangerous it becomes. And we're running out of options. Okay. Right, Max, if the drug lead doesn't ruffle his feathers, do what you have to do. Three times in one day. This is getting really boring. We have reason to believe you're dealing drugs from this premises. All right, get your dogs in. Beetles, whatever breed it is you use these days, and let them loose. We won't find anything. I wouldn't doubt that. But, uh, if you don't play ball, I'll make sure this place is crawling with coppers every single day of every single week. And I'm pretty sure that your, um, clientele will be too impressed with that. You're threatening me. I'm just trying to impress upon you how important it is that you cooperate. One of my colleagues is missing. Kidnapped, in fact, along with Jade Hopkins. There's some lowlifes holding two terrified women hostage out there. I want to find them. You're getting in my way. Well, why didn't you say so? How can I help? You're lucky. On my mailing list. Just remember to delete them. His name's Cy Jones. Lives with his brother Mick. This is the last address I have for them. That's the best thing we've got. We've had to get up a scumbag like Curtis. Sometimes you've got to dance with the devil. Besides, this day will come. I guarantee it. Just get in there! Up with you! Stop you screaming! Stay in there! Don't move! Try and keep it together, bro. We've got two birds we can't get rid we of! We can't afford for anything stupid to happen! You didn't mean for this to happen, okay? Just... It's gone too far, let us go! No, no you're not going nowhere! Let me go! Get me go! You know about it. A lot. She got her. Why didn't you say? I said, why didn't you say? Because she knew we'd kill her. Didn't ya? You were sort of cordoned off all the roads around Jones's flat. No cars or pedestrians can get in or out. The flat's on this estate and there's this back alley leading up to it. It's a hostage negotiating in there, yeah? Yeah, we're going to meet him there along with the Trojan unit. Shay here is trying to make contact, but they're not responding. We've got Trojan teams around the house now. OK, thank you. Go. It's Millie's. easy enough. This wood's about five miles from here. No, we got passports. We get out of the country. It's gone too far. No one dies. No one. We tie and make sure they can't get away and leave them here. Please, she could bleed to death. If you don't want to find yourself on a murder charge. OK, they'll have seen your van on the CCTV near Jade's house. They'll be tracking your route as we speak. Every camera in London will be programmed to find you. I 
know their next move, okay? You promise to get Jade the help she needs. I promise you I'll help you get away. And the only chance you got. We can't trust her. She's a copper. Leave this much longer and the choice isn't going to be yours to make. Okay, she'll die and you both go down for life. Well, what do we do? Um, I pull up at the hospital. We put Jade on the pavement and we drive away. Okay, the medics will see her. She'll be safe. Yeah. We pull up, you leg it, no deal. You've got a gun! <laughs> you know what? If it looks like I'm going to do a runner, you've got nothing to lose. Shoot me. You two, hurry up! Look, I can't leave you with them. Do something. Scream, run! I can't, it's too dangerous. No, be careful. Thank you. Right. We've done what you asked. Now you better pray you get us out of here. There's a car park on Donald Street. We need to get rid of the van. Well, it sounds like it's been one hell of a fight, and obviously whoever's been injured is in danger. So we need to get to them as soon as possible. Well, it's Willie's jacket. They had the blood on it. It doesn't mean that she was the one who was hurt. It could have been anyone. Who... We need to let everyone know that the uh, kidnappers are users and probably high. Is there any news yet from the CCTV and AMPR cameras? No, nothing yet, but the van's index and make and last known direction has been circulated. An all ports warning has been issued. Uniform are checking out local hospitals. As soon as anything breaks, Max, you let me know. OK. Everybody on standby. The second we get any leads, we're ready to go. Mum, Jane Hopkins has just been dropped off at St Hughes with gunshot wounds to her leg. She's in surgery now. Is she going to be OK? Well, condition's critical, but not life-threatening. Any idea how she got there? Yeah, CCTV shows that she was dropped off by the white van belonging to the Jones brothers. And Millie? They've still got her. Well, I'll go and see if we can track the van's route away from the hospital by NPR. Try not to worry too much, Sarge. She'll be OK, you know. She's a good copper. I meant Jade. Jade will make it. She should be okay, yeah. Thank you for letting me go. I can't believe we're in this mess. Can't believe it. It's supposed to be a quick in and out. Keep hold of Jade two hours max and let her go when we got the call. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. My cousin's husband was in on this armed robbery. He's the manager of the store, they cleared us 70 grand. I think was he never got his share. How come? This bloke who carried out the robbery, Jade's brother, never paid up. My cousin was well miffed. Thought he'd done a runner with the cash. That's where we come in. Snatch Jade, get what's owed, give her back end of. But the police got to Jade's brother and the money first. When she came knocking at the door, I should have told her where to go. A bit like now, eh? She? They all too know. Alarmed up to the eyeballs. Without keys, we're going nowhere. I can get you on. The AMPR camera on Doral Street ID'd the van making its way to the car park at the back of Fry House Remand Centre. Good girl, Millie. She's led them there deliberately. It's a government building. She knows it's patrolled regularly. She's waiting for them to arrive. I'll update D.I. Manson. Yes, can you tell me what time the patrol is due to arrive at Fry House Remand, please? Why is it delayed? No, 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 no. Pull them off immediately and tell them to get down to the car park on Doral Street. Now. OK, I can commandeer that car. How? I need my warrant card. I'm PC Brown from Sun Hill. This is urgent police business. Madam, I need your car. Can you step up the vehicle, please? It's brilliant. Thank you. Sarge? The front office have just had a call from a woman in Doral Street car park. She said her car's just been commandeered by a PC Millie Brown. 
All right, thank you very much indeed. Sarge, Sarge. Yeah. We're in luck. There's a mobile phone in the car. Here's the number. Fantastic. Let's get that trace pronto. Oh, and confirm with CCC that Millie's a police officer and being held hostage. Yeah, there's one more thing, Sarge. Yeah. The lady said Millie whispered something to her. She's their cousin. She's behind her. A woman? Well, so none of this had anything to do with Jensen? What if it's Liv? I clocked her reaction in the hospital when we said Ronnie was in custody. It weren't right. You saw Lawrence in that interview. He ain't up to all this. So Ronnie was telling the truth. He was just trying to get the cash to pay off his debt. We nicked him before Liv and Lawrence got their share. Lawrence didn't know anything about the kidnap. It's all down to his wife. What if she's thinking of taking the money and running? Get on the radio. She still might be in the front office. Sarge. Sierra, Oscar from Sierra One. Receipt 375, just look in now. 275 from 686. She's gone. Whiskey, Tango, Romeo. Okay, got it, thanks. I spoke to Lawrence again. I think he's telling the truth. He didn't know anything about the kidnap. What about Liv? Did Lawrence give us anything to back up Max's theory? Well, Ronnie didn't show up with their share of the cash because we'd nicked him, but they thought he'd double-crossed them. Liv was furious. So she went at alone? Certainly looks like that, which means that Jensen had no direct involvement in the robbery. Ronnie planned the whole thing just to pay off his debt. This has been an amateur job from the start, which makes it all the more dangerous for Millie. OK, we need the ANPR cameras to search for a silver Range Rover index. Lima, November 57, Whiskey, Tango, Romeo. Still waiting for the cell site analysis on the mobile phone to pinpoint its location. Got it, Mum. Heading south towards Kellett Hill. Kellett Hill? She's taking them down towards the river. Good girl, Millie. She's cutting off some of their escape routes. Well, the Trojan units are ready to go. Let's alert all available cars. There's, there's a van following us. You grassed us up. I know I couldn't trust you. I just, I know it. It's an armed response vehicle, OK? If you want to walk away from this, you need to stop the car and throw the gun out the window. You're bluffing. She's bluffing. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. The armed response unit have just caught them up. Sierra One is heading towards them from Waterview Road. Sierra 1 from Sierra Oscar 1, Trojan 345 is behind the suspect vehicle on Twentyman Walk. Let them put in the hard stop. Get, get off the road! Get off the road! Do a left here! Put your foot down! They've turned into Slate Road. That's a dead end. We should be able to contain them. Let's just hope they don't panic. There's no way out of this side, okay? It's over. This is it. I don't want to die. Do you hear me? I don't want to die. Stop the car. I said, stop the car! Jones, I'm arresting you for kidnapping. Question for a firearm. You do not have to stand here for my army defense if you don't make question something. You like relying in court. Millie, you okay? It's okay. You're okay now. Thank God. Yeah. Well done, Millie. Hey. Is Jade all right? Yeah, she's out of surgery. You got her there just in time. It's got nothing to do with Curtis Jensen. It's a toy shop manager's boy. Yeah, 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 we know. We got your message. We're bringing you now. It's all over now. It's all over. Ben, I'd slap your legs, but forget about that. It's good to see you. We arrived just in time to see a her seat case in her car boot. So you were just going to do a bunk and let Lawrence take the wrap? I might actually shock him into doing something. 
like growing a spine. He can't even rob his own shop. Save it for the JJ. Come on. We'll see you back, Millie. You did well. Thanks. Always knew you would. Liar. Yeah. Sorry. Been unfair. Yeah, you have. What you've been through today, most coppers never have to face in their entire career. And you handled it. My compliments, Sarge. If it hadn't been for you, things could have got a lot worse. Look, uh, if you need to talk about it, I'm finished for the day. Thanks, but, um, I just want to go home. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Next time on The Bill. Now have a go hero, it's Justin Reed. What do we want him for? Murder gov. But you have to come in with me now and then I can help you, I promise. You're exactly where you are! Rebecca, no! I nearly convinced them! Convinced them! Come on in to convince them, you're arrested!